What's good everybody, Chris here again, Chris Goes Outdoors today. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what I've been carrying out on the trail. Still got my bag packed from the last trip I was on uh, in the Southern Presidentials of the White Mountains. If you haven't seen that video, it's right up there and it's probably one of the best videos I've ever made. With that said, we'll jump right into it, show you what we got starting from the outside. So on the side pocket here, we have a one liter water bottle right there so we can put our Sawyer squeeze on top of it. I have some off deep woods bug spray. Now, this stuff's pretty crucial in my opinion in the White Mountains. I could have got a smaller bottle, but I just didn't. So too bad, not very ultralight of me, I suppose. On the strap here, we have the Peak Designs capture clip. I absolutely love this thing. This is the version two. Version three is out now and is slightly lighter, um, but it doesn't fit on shoulder straps. I think it's above three inches, but I have the V2, been using it for a while and it's worked great. So no real desire to switch it out, but your camera essentially clips right into here. And then when you want it, push down the button here and pull the camera up and it comes back out. This thing has been great. And uh, it also works in conjunction with the tripod there we'll talk about in a second, but love this thing. And here we got a little shoulder strap pocket. Uh, nothing too crazy in here. I typically just keep my poop shovel, which is in there. Um, I keep a thing of body glide. And this is new to me, uh, mineral sunscreen. This is from Trader Joe's actually but it applies similar like a deodorant. So I'm interested to try this out. Forgot sunscreen on my last trip and um, I regretted it terribly. So, um, and I also have a little lens polishing cloth in here. Always nice to have around and a little compass right there as well with a thermometer on it. It's nice to know sometimes what the temp is and what direction you're going. Uh, this pocket right here, I don't currently have anything because this is where I usually keep the lens I'm filming this on. It's the Sony 20 mil f1.8. And then the lens I typically film on is right here. This is the Sony 24 to 105 f4. This thing is a nice lens. And I have been filming with the Sony a7 III as of late. Down in this pocket right here, this is pretty much camera territory again. Got a little, DCF pocket thing right here. So within here we get one, two, three, four extra batteries for my camera, as well as some extra SD cards. And then on the other side, we got another one liter water bottle with the Sawyer squeeze filter. I've also been carrying around one trekking pole. This is one of the Black Diamond Alpine carbon corks. I haven't been really using them while hiking, but I do carry one just in case. Any real steep stuff I feel like I might need it on. And my shelter also takes one long pole like that. So, and the reason I haven't been using it is because of this. This is the Peak Designs carbon fiber travel tripod. And this thing pretty much at this point is essentially always in my hands while I'm hiking now. So pop the camera right on there. It locks in really nice. And this thing has been magnificent for filming. Really, really have been enjoying this thing and the kind of creative aspect that it brings to my videos. And then for clothing, I'm still using pretty much the same stuff. The Columbia Silver Ridge shirt. I have two of these. One is uh, green, one is blue. I've been using just like some Target C9 athletic shorts. Nothing crazy there. And then somebody recently asked specifically what these were. I get a lot of questions about these. So these are SP compression socks I bought on Amazon. I do not use them for the compression benefits. In fact, I have not even noticed any benefit from that, but I typically use them one for sun protection and two for tick and bug protection. And they've been working pretty well. I believe they're mostly nylon, so they do kind of smell a little bit here and there. Then spin it around. This is a, another pole for my tent. I've been using the Solplex still from z uh, It requires two poles, so carry that one around because I don't carry two trekking poles. My same water cup right here, I use this to scoop out of very low flowing streams. Little thing of hand sanitizer for after bathroom and just the state of the planet at the moment. And a bug head net, which I found very, very handy on the Colorado Trail for extremely little weight. 10 steaks right here. These are in a Cuban fiber steak bag. Typically for steaks, I go to MSR Groundhogs, four MSR Groundhog minis in 
roughly four uh, titanium shepherd's hook stakes. We get some toilet paper and a couple wet wipes. That's the other Ziploc bag in there. Make sure to bury your business and pack out your toilet paper or wet wipes because the trails are getting disgusting with the amount of people out there. ND filter, this is a thing for the front of the lens. Uh, it helps to bring the sunlight down so you can set certain shutter speeds. If you're not filming or not taking like certain photography, you will not need one. Uh, first aid and repair kit. I guess I'll show you what's inside. So we keep it in a little stuff sack here. We get a couple latex gloves, toothpaste, toothbrush, a very tiny compass, which hopefully you can see right there. And then within the repair kit, we have various medicines, a little bit of gauze, some tape, some KT tape, super glue, an extra Sawyer uh, rubber gasket thing. Uh, the KT tape, that stuff's crucial. So nothing too crazy, but enough that I feel confident for most injuries. If I'm breaking bones or something, um, I'm probably gonna be passed out on the side of the trail anyway. So um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for outside the pack. Usually in this pocket too, I will have a map of the whites, but it's over on my table. So right here is eighth inch Gossamer Gear foam pad. This thing's great, doubles as a sit pad. You can technically seep on it. I've done it before and it's not terrible, but not the greatest, I suppose. You could put it under your sleeping pad within your tent, try to help prevent punctures. Leave it outside the tent for a nice little clean space to leave some stuff. So really like having that thing around. Uh, food bag, this is pretty much the exact same as I don't know, for all eternity. <laughs> I did switch from a Z-Pax bear bag to a light AF bear bag, and it's been treating me pretty well. It's definitely bigger than the Z-Pax one I had. I typically will carry one to two extra of these, um, just the Sawyer Squeeze foldable water bottles. These are nice, especially if you're in an area where you're not sure if you're gonna have to dry camp, so you can really camel up the same toke spot I've had since pretty much forever. Uh, same Tokes titanium long handle spoon. The same BRS 3000 tea stove and Bic I've had for ages as well. A little cap for that too, but old fuel can I picked up from Sierra. Just a couple things in there, some Idaho and potatoes, ramen, some extra coffee and stuff. z pack spare bag line I still have in there from the Appalachian Trail. For extra clothing, haven't been carrying around too much. I still have the Melly from, I don't know, had this since 2016, still hanging in there. I carry that as my warming layer now. I also have the Enlightened Equipment Copperfield wind pants. These are nice against bug protection, give you a little bit of warmth too. And then rain jacket. I've been using the EMS Thunderhead that I bought probably around 2015 still. I like it because it's got pit zips as well as hand pockets. So frog togs are nice and also super light, but yeah, I just prefer having the pit zips and pockets. So. Electronics bag, nothing too crazy. We have a lightning cable, a micro USB cable, and a USB-C cable. Got this, a dual battery charger for my camera batteries. The Nikkor NU25 headlamp. Uh, this thing's been treating me great. Shock cord on there as well, super light. And then lastly, right here, I have the Nikkor NB10000. This is their newer 10,000 milliamp hour battery charger. I haven't really used it a ton. Mainly just use it to top off my phone or camera batteries. And I just leave that in a gallon size Ziploc. Still carrying around a pack cover. I have been going sans liner bag and just keeping the pack cover. Again, I have a ton of camera equipment. It's worth the extra two ounces for the added protection it offers. Right here, got a C2 Summit Eros pillow. Uh, I believe this is just the regular size. Thermarest NeoAir x -Lite. still using this thing. Uh, old valve version, not the new valve version, so. And then we got my Z-Pack Solplex that I'm still using. Stuff sack broke a long, long time ago. Pretty much withered away to shreds, so replaced it with just a C to Summit dry bag. And then, last but not least, we have the z pillow dry bag, and within it, a Katabatic Flex 30 degree sleeping quilt. 
I got mine in the long and wide. So that's pretty much all I've been carrying and it's been working out great for me. No real extra stuff as far as like clothing, socks or anything like that goes. I also typically have this with me. The Outdoor Research uh, Sunrunner hat. This thing's been really cool as well. Keep that with me on pretty much all trips. So, but yeah, that will be pretty much my entire setup. Uh, the Hyperlight Mountain Gear 2400 Southwest. I just made a video about this the other day. I'll try to pop it up there so you can see. And then once the fall comes around, I'll probably add a couple layers, but this will probably be the same setup you see then. So I uh, hope the video was helpful. If it was cool, if not, sorry. Don't recommend any of this gear. Don't not recommend it. Do some research, find out what works best for you and use that gear. So we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully another trip next weekend, but wanted to take this weekend off. So see you later.